Hey, Rob. Oh, okay, it works. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, it was fun playing with you guys. Thanks for you know, helping me through the T25. That was super cool. Yeah, we had a blast as well. Like, um, I was uh, I was uh, streaming and my, my chat uh, really liked it as well. Like, uh, so cool to see. It was fun with the Druid for sure. Like, the pulling and everything. It was going uh, very yeah. nicely. The season uh, is like in, in the season is like, is that like in January? Um, 23rd of January, I think. Like, there's an yeah, in-game yeah, okay. in -game message already. They haven't like really publicly said anything about like any specifics. Uh, I think we're going to see that like beginning of January, we'll probably get some news of uh, like uh, the exact season theme mechanic. But yeah, we're going to get the, the leaderboards, um, the in-game leaderboards officially this time. We have the like community okay, cool. fan-made on, on Maxwell right now, but um, yeah, having them like officially uh, in-game and uh, like val okay. validated well, and stuff, that would be cool. I hope they have it by region because otherwise it's going to be all Chinese players basically. Because yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I was playing with some Chinese friends of mine, and holy smokes, man, it is so hardcore over there, next level. They have the um, dedication; it's it's completely insane. I was also talking to the, the completely first insane. Bar. I was like, yep, yeah. I mean, I'm like friends with people, and they're, and they're like, they're like, no talking in the party. I'm like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> super There's serious, no talk, like just, whole different mentality. Super serious. <laughs> super serious, no talk, just grind. Just grind. Just Let's go. Grind the train is going. The train is moving. Let's go. The train is moving. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's so good. It is. Exactly, I'm like, okay, guys. <laughs> it's just a game. <laughs> yes. Exactly my experience as well. Like, I was talking to the um, the first Bob that cleared the tier 25. Like, I think it was a few days yeah. before I did it. And that day, like, that dude, he was just, like, going, man. Like, I think they were, like, even, like, in an internet cafe or something with his buddies. Like, they were just going. They, they, were, they were not stopping. Like, yeah, they were yeah. sleeping for a few hours and, and just, just going. Like, super serious. And he was, like, well, grinding yeah. hard for the final uh, tier. I think he pushed, like, and fished the maps, like, to get a really good map. I think he was playing for two days. Like, only, like, fishing for the right, uh, uh, basically, attempt to, to clear it. You mean two, two days of just fishing? Yeah, he, he went from like level 130 wow. to like uh, 140 glyph or something and like he, he just fished okay. for two days and, and then he got the clear. Because at that point, um, I mean now the, the general player base, like we, we, we get to learn more and more stuff, like more and more mechanics, especially with the snapshotting and some way the damage and the health of the monster scales. But they're, there's basically like always uh, improving the, the times and I think we take this to the next level in like two weeks or something we'll probably be like switching around like so much uh, so many things and so many aspects and just, uh, <laughs> yeah. have all the knowledge basically the perfect like min max like paragon board can get one percent more damage here a bit more damage reduction there i think it's really amazing to see the community uh, coming together and basically coming up with these like optimizations to beat the game yeah totally um yeah for a while it was like um um yeah, yeah. It, for, for a while there, it you know the very very beginning it was like, hey, is anyone can anyone beat this game? And now it's now it's going down to how fast can you clear T twenty five? Yeah, and they, I think they even said it like from the developer side. I remember watching this at at the BlizzCon, and they said it's going to be impossible, impossible, literally, to beat the uh, the highest tier. So I, I think they kind of <laughs> didn't expect the creativity and uh, basically uh, combined like swarm knowledge here of the of the player base and and sharing. Because I've been also adapting a lot of strategies. Like I've actually like downloaded WeChat and I was like chatting with these um, Chinese um, uh, top players and they have like this like built in uh, auto translation function in WeChat that it was actually really good. I really enjoyed that. It also can translate like the screenshots and stuff they send they, they send it me. Yeah, it really helped well, a lot, like to understand what they, what they were talking about and what they were doing, really. And I gave them some tips as well. What we learned here in in the West, in Europe, in, in US, and yeah, we just basically uh, adapted it together to form this like barbarian build, like because there's like a lot of like item and and weapon switching going on. It's like it, it's basically came a long way since we we first just played Hoda Bob, just right click smash, right? It's it, it's not that anymore. Like now we're doing <laughs> like a full like DPS optimized rotation and stuff. And you can even take this even further. I'm not sure if uh, you do this right now on Druid, but like playing around the uh, elements aspect cycle and, and things like that, it's, it's very hard. And, and the UI has some problems because you can't see all your buffs below. So it's it's very hard to do. The Some people in China, like they like really pay attention like to their characters, because if you have the element aspect, there's like this like glow around your character, right? But it, it's so hard to see sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I guess for me, I'd, I'd want to attack when the poison because every seven seconds i guess when, when is poison active that's yeah. gonna be my you know most powerful attack 
And it's gonna um, be squared for you, so it's like 1.6 times yeah, yeah. 1.6 basically. It's gonna be like, yeah, two and a half times the damage yeah. on, on that rotation. Yeah, it's gonna be like both uh, the in initiate poison and then sh uh, the poison shred within. Fast, obviously. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, and then I, I, I think actually having po poison damage on. Some of the equipment will also help because it's it's a 60x the poison so if you've got some poison damage already on your stuff it's like it really kicks the poison to a high level um anyway i would think i was gonna ask a friend of mine was wondering uh if um is there any non-injured sork well that doesn't suck um yeah there is like i was playing like back in, in the days was playing a uh, immortal sork version with the melted heart of Celic. That's an uber unique, though. I'm not sure yeah. if if uh, your your friend has this one. This I think is she good. has it actually. Okay. She, she was looking for uh, the shaker for such a long time. She got all this other stuff. <laughs> so I think she's got a Celic. Yeah. So you can use Celic. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I have a video and the planner on my YouTube. I can like find it real quick as well. Maybe you can forward it to her. She can try. It. I, I know a lot of people in in my community and on my stream have been. I've been asking this uh, exact same question because they don't like the the injured uh, builds too much. Because yeah, usually like it's very counterintuitive. Like I'm I'm injured, it's a bad thing, right? But yeah, on Sork it actually yeah, exactly. increases the po potency of your shields by like a factor of times ten or something if you have triple injured roll plus the um, resilience, a vampiric yeah. power. So <laughs> it's completely insane. Basically, a thirty percent shields becomes like three hundred percent of your life or something. So. Um, but yeah, yeah, a lot of people don't like the don't like the playstyle. You also have to get injured before you start yeah, to exactly. run. It's just annoying. Yeah, go yeah, run outside and let the dogs eat you for a bit, and then <laughs> come back inside every time. Um, yeah, so, yeah exactly. Um, and, and we're pushing for dungeons. Like, what? How do you know it's a good dungeon? What are the key attributes? Okay, so the key attributes, what I go by, um, is first of all the map. So I have a list of maps here. Um, these are the two I really like. Okay, they, they have these names. Um, so the first one is the Cathedral. I, probably it's easier later when we play some runs to, to show you uh, the map, because I don't know if you can uh, identify these names. We have the, the Cathedral, like just basically open layout. Um, very easy to make bigger pulls, and that usually helps a lot. Yeah. So there's like, I, I think you know the one, uh, the cathedral temple, yeah. like there's like a big open area, basically like very easy yeah. to pull a lot of elites. Actually, so, yeah. I, that's great for me because uh, I can pull the it, the, it, the pull distance is great, as you know. So the the more open areas are better than the small corridors for the, the druid pull. Yeah, I think for druid in particular, like okay. having a lot of density in, in in the run, just so like making these big pulls, like uh, basically. What I did on my, like when it's really hard, I never fight like a single elite, like, and what I mean by single elite is like they always come in packs of three, right? So I don't, mm -hmm. I, I don't even fight three elites, like I always kite them or try to make them follow me basically, or like yeah. pull them into, I mean, you, you don't even need to wait for them to, to move on Druid, right? You can just like pull them with you, sort of like we did in our format, like just pull them yeah, forward yeah. all the time and get new trash monsters yeah, in, get new elites in. But yeah, to do that, you gotta be uh, relatively tanky. You have to like take yeah. like... I don't know, like a 10 elite pool with elite all the affixes. Yeah. But if you have that, you can basically, yeah. and, and the right AOE, you can, you can basically just uh, make progress like this, even if you're not uh, having, uh, let's say, enough damage to kill the elites one by one. Sounds good. And that's what I'm really focused on. But yeah, this this sword build that I that I, that I made was before Abattoir of Zir came out, but uh, I think it could be a very good to like push, let's say, all the way up to like a 14, maybe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, also, like, I uh, saw the tweet that you uh, put out with the, with the 25 clear. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> what do you call them now, like, officially? Like, I mean, I still call them tweets. Like, is there, like, a better name? <laughs> I mean, I call them posts. Uh, okay, just posts. So... Okay. Yeah, you should put post more stuff on X. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Um, I just... I'm definitely, like... Uh... Trying to be more active there now. I like there's uh, like you said last time there was a uh, tremendous potential. I mean, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll I'll order I'll order one like uh, next days and I'll, uh, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, I think and, and like so, uh, if, if it's not working, let me know and uh, we'll fix it. Hey, thank you so much. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do. Yeah, we'll do.
Just for um, reference, right for now, my latency, and I don't know if it's the Blizzard server or my internet, but I have like 120 millisecond ping right now. That's brutal. Yeah, it's brutal, I know. <laughs> I've been feeling it, but I also think it's partially Blizzard's fault. Yeah. Uh, well, some of this, like you said, well, I, actually, you know what, part of the problem is also, I'm not sure, it may have signed a US server, depending on, because it's going to pick a, a US or a European server, that will affect the latency as well, since oh, yeah, the geographical oh, yeah, is far away. I think that's um, why you had some uh, worse experience in our T25 that we did uh, two days ago um, as well, like because we were on a Europe yeah. server. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, it, it's helpful to get these data points because then we can try just figure out like what is the limit of what limit of physics. Like if um, if we do everything right, then we're limited by the speed of light, and you know how, how good can it be? And usually, it's there's a lot of room for improvement. I mean, even Europe should be like a US Europe connection, I think should be less than 50, probably 50 milliseconds. Yeah, it's it's so cool to see how cool. many yeah. problems like problems. Uh, the companies you created or you involved in like are solving uh, just for, for for us or for everybody in general. Right. Like getting the internet and then getting like, streaming on, on, on X and connecting people there is just it's so amazing to see. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I did create Starlink and SpaceX from scratch. <laughs> yeah, this is like just solving uh, so many problems for, for humanity as a whole. It's, uh, it's fantastic, man. It's super cool. I'm definitely going... Uh, I mean, I, I see like that there's like basically branching out in, in so many different uh, more... more uh, more segments. Like we have the streaming now, we have the long video format. Yeah. The idea is you can do anything you want uh, on the system. And link out of the system if you want. That's cool too. Yeah, fantastic. And um, are you also looking to, I don't know, like in the future, like integrate payments and, and all this kind of uh, functionalities there? Yeah, yeah. Pa payments. Uh, we're waiting for all of the regulatory approvals, but payments uh, start, we'll start implementing payment functionality uh, in 2024. So by the end of 2024, I think you should be very good with payments. Wow. So one stop shop for all your internet needs. Yeah, um, but also, like I said, integrating with, with other apps and systems. We're, we're not trying to destroy them, we're just, you know, um, there'll, be, there'll be specialist apps that are, you know, better than what, what we do at certain things, but, and you can link to them, um, but we want to be the best sort of all-around journalist app, you know, and, and also, very, like I said, very much in the now, what is happening right now. If you want to have the most up-to-date things across the board in many different, you know, in any different genre, um, then you can find it on X. Wow, that'll be uh, that'll be amazing. Um, yeah, funny story actually. Like um, after I saw you um, tweeted the uh, twenty-five clear today, I retweeted it and I wanted to do um, a tweet. I, I didn't upload the video directly on X because I had it on YouTube at the time. Now I will definitely yeah. upload the videos directly on on YouTube. But like one challenge that I faced that I had to Google and there was no, I don't know, maybe there was an easy solution, but I just didn't like find it immediately. Was how can I um, basically add a link to an image? And I, I saw a video that you first have to uh, like basically get your um, uh, ads set up on X to, to be able to do that. Is that is that correct? Well, I think you want to uh, just um, enable subscriptions for sure. But you, you can uh -huh. you can certainly uh, you know post a video or, or an image with with a link in the post. You know, just link in the post. That's super easy. Okay, yeah, I, um, I, I managed to do that, but I had to go into this like create a board or something but yeah I mean, it worked in the end it just took me like a few steps to to figure it out because it wasn't well, I, at, the, at the time yesterday i didn't feel it was like the most intuitive thing but i think now it's uh, it's going great okay sounds good well uh just like shoot me a dm on, on anything that we can improve um always looking to make the product better all right yeah i'm looking forward to i mean i'm, I'm gonna try the streaming and i'll just see how, how it goes so guys, here, uh, I'm just going to talk to my chat for a second. Link in my X account. You can follow me here, guys. Stream on X soon. How many snapshots are you doing? So recently, we figured out that uh, you can snapshot um, some, some stats on the barb, for example. You have some Paragon node that gives you a multiplier. Um, it's Blood Rage, and <laughs> I'm basically uh, switching some items uh, to damage while I'm berserking. And that okay. loads in at the start of the run with the legendary node. 
I'm, I'm not, I don't think there's anything on Shrek. Really? I also looked into it a bit. Um, obviously, I don't know like all the ins and outs, all the details, but there was one um, mechanic on the pulverize that you can snapshot. There's like one, I think it's a, it's a legendary Paragon node that does, uh, that scales with your crowd control yeah. damage or something. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm not sure what it's called, um, but that one should. Earth and Devastation. Oh yeah, that one. It doesn't work for Shred, so not really uh, good in the Shred's current only... meta build. I mean, Shred's the only thing that can do... It, 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 there's only one thing that can do enough damage at high levels, and that's Shred. So, nothing else really matters, I guess. For I think a, somebody for, was mentioning... Or... Are you using Shepard aspect? Um, I, I was. I actually just switched to... I'm, I'm, I'm trying <clears throat> the the non pets build right now um because i was the, the 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 pets build actually has the highest damage but it's too fragile um so it's too much of a glass cannon if you go or the the pets build sort of like uh you know petting zoo with the alpha god slayer it's it's pretty it's great for it's great for damage but it's trying to survive with that is quite difficult um so right now i have quite a defensive build um, although it probably doesn't have enough, I've probably given up too much attack power. Um, mm -hmm. And the only thing I'm sna snapshotting is elements and uh, DR werewolf, um, the vigorous aspect, which I'm told by some it works and by others it doesn't work, but, but you know. Doesn't worth, hurt. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't hurt, exactly. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's just those, those, those are the only two things elements and um, DR werewolf. Yeah, I think that's pretty much what I saw from uh, the other like uh, top druids on on the board, like snapshotting those two things. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm not sure if there's anything else with the stats, but if anything, it might be like very minor things and and probably not worth it for the for the effort. Because you also lose some time doing all this. Like some people yeah, exactly. uh, on the barb, they're also snapshotting like some some paragon points, and the sork is doing that to a degree as well with some skills. And <laughs> some of them they have like <laughs> half a minute is already over before they even start the run. Well, should, should we go? Yes, let's go. Not sure how defensive. I'm. I'm, I'm like pretty offensive right now. Let's see how it goes with the with the pulling. To be a bit careful for sure on the blood seekers. And if you want, in a few runs, we can also try with a uh, sork. That would be um, yeah. bringing us the most consistency. All right. Good map. So this is like an open map. This is the Mallwood map. And so this one is naturally really good. And this is also one of the best mob types. Nice, nice. Do you have any form of like... Uh, the Petrify is completely stunning them, right? Uh, yeah, it stuns them. For about four seconds. Uh... Yeah, because I am playing the domination, so that's gonna be very helpful for me. This is the pulling, this is great. Yeah. Oh, this elite just teleported in. I was like, where is it coming from? Or it flew in, <laughs> maybe. And I, I always prefer the, the melee elites, because they really like follow you. The, the ranged guys, like the yeah. shamans or some of these archers. First of all, they are really dangerous. And yeah, they're not really like following too well because when I'm playing alone like right now it works great with, with pulling but alone I don't really have any means or any way uh, to pull them and then it gets really annoying when they constantly split basically okay here's a big pull we can get these together okay nice can activate my ultimate I need to be a bit careful when the, the spiders explode. I need to go out for a second. Yeah. 
Because <laughs> oh. they can be really dangerous. <laughs> but yeah, for me, the pulling helps me tremendously on this build. I mean, there is a way I can pull as well. I have like a harpoon, basically, where I can like grab the monsters, uh, like a grappling hook, and uh, take them with me. But it has okay. like a long cooldown, and it's nowhere near the range <laughs> that <laughs> that you have <laughs> on the druid. Yeah. Like, look at this! Like the leads, <laughs> they just fly in from everywhere. Yeah, it seems like sometimes Paul can get it from two or three screens away. It's pretty crazy. Like, there just needs to be a straight line between you and the monster. I think if the monster is spawned somewhere. And there's a straight line that's coming to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that timer. It's crazy. We're tripling it. I mean, this is also like a really, oh, wow. really insane. Um, like, this is one of the best mobs and one of the best maps, basically. Okay. Obviously, we can still uh, lose to the Bloodseeker RNG if we get unlucky. Yeah. But there's also hard to stay alive like, sometimes. Oh. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Hard, hard to stay alive sometimes with this. I, I, actually, if I. Once they are poisoned and cursed, I'm actually in a pretty good shape. But until that time, uh, I don't have the DR vulnerable and DR uh, poisoned. Yeah, what um, some as a druid, I'm 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 kind of relying on DR poisoned and DR vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what some classes do, like right before the Bloodseeker spawn, like they just do like because you have like five seconds or something before they appear. Yeah. They do like a few item, like quick item switches to get more toughness, and then switch back when they have them in like a safe spot. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I've even teleported back. I've teleported, I've teleported back to town and done like a massive change. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's crazy. <laughs> but that usually takes. Uh, I've, I've, uh, I've tried like because sometimes I can clear the blood seekers and I've got five minutes. So I'm like, well, I could go rush in and die, or I could spend a minute reconfiguring in town. So it's like you can teleport back to town and safely reconfigure, no problem. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a, a good solution to uh, uh, overcome that problem. But I think in the in the yeah. very end, like if you want to do this on like the very high tier, it's gonna be, it become rather difficult. Uh, Just because, a of time, yeah. Yeah, you lose too much time. Ten minutes is really over. Okay, this is like really good, like keeping them good. together. Because I can like hit them with my hammer. What was that like a three minute, three, four minute run? That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this well, is definitely yeah. a really good combination. I. Uh, I had some uh, uh, friends playing this together with, I don't know, you might have seen him on leaderboards, like Draw, Drawn 1X. Like he's also like, I think he pushed like a 22 or 23 solo Druid. And he yeah. was doing this with some barbs I know. And yeah, the combination is really right. I think they got like a rank one on the three man leaderboard uh, with this. Wow, cool. Because yeah, the pulling uh, helps so much. And you, you said you're also a bit more um, uh, tanky now, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm optimized. I just I, it's, since you got plenty of damage, um, I'm you know I biased my build towards about fortify and all the various uh, defense things like uh, cyclone armor, earthen bulwark, um, raw, debilitating roar, and that kind of thing. Okay, wait, let me inspect. Uh, and then yeah. I'm inspect your druid for a second, deck. Okay, it works nice. So and also, I'm, and sometimes in order to get a, a fast clear, I'd use tie bolts, Which, if you go tie bolts with, uh, <clears throat> with with petrify, and then the um, and you use anticipation mm -hmm. to drop the mm -hmm. uh, get twenty percent reduction on the, the ultimate time. I can like cast switch it right now. Then I can cast a petrify every thirty four seconds. And if, if I really want to go crazy, I can do a one-hander and on the totem get 20% more uh, time reduction. And then it ends up being around 28 seconds uh, for Petrify reset. And then every time I dash through enemies, I get a 10-second reduction. So it only takes like a couple of dashes. You can basically almost have Petrify most of the time. Oh, that's sick. You have some really good gears. Well, I'm looking at your amulet. Holy... Crazy armor, <laughs> this one like fifty-five percent armor like throughout the bed. It is nuts. Yeah, in werewolf form. <laughs> yeah, when in werewolf form, but like you're keeping that up pretty much. Like I mean, sometimes you have to shape shift like out for a second, right? But hmm? you're like werewolf most I, of the time. Yeah, I'm, I'm werewolf most of the time, and then uh, I'll switch to you know once in a while I'll do a mall to. Um, which, which then gives me the 20% health bonus for being 
a, a bear uh, briefly, um, and then uh, helps fortify, keep fortify up, and uh, re regenerates bird. Nice. So, nice. and all you need is, is a bunch of enemies in front of you with a long, because the ball is long range, long range melee. So, at one sweep, and you can often re refill your whole uh, bird bar. Awesome. Yeah. And, 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 get, nice. and they get nine. Nine percent DR for werewolf form, which lasts three seconds after werewolf form. So this is this is quite a defensive setup. Mm -hmm. um, How's your uh, crit chance at the moment? I see you don't have it on either of the ring. Oh, you don't even have to. You don't have the ring rolled. Okay, sick. You can actually roll it. But this one is already really good. Just looking at your starlight loop. <laughs> yeah. Um, so are you so... getting like a big crit chance bonus? Uh, yeah. So I have. Uh, crit right now is only twenty eight and a half, but if I but then I've got six percent for close, which is almost always close. So thirty four and a half. So I critting a third of the time, mm -hmm. uh, which is not great. But uh, you know, if I were to switch to hunter's zenith, I'd get another twelve and a half percent. Um, but I kind of if if I go with the da the damage resistant pants that I need, I don't have tie bolts, then I've got to do something with the ring. This, Maybe it's not the optimal ring. I've got a better ring, but... Uh... Oh, but I think this one is already really good. Like, Lucky Hit is very nice on Druid. Yeah. Like, resource generation, close, and also life. Yeah, That's Lucky Hit is critical for triggering and Doriel's Visage. Exactly. So it's... it's a, Every Lucky Hit has a 20% chance to trigger Poison over. Yeah, and you completely the removed the Poison Creeper from this setup, right? Like, it's it's just coming from... I guess <laughs> the last time I played a Druid was like a... Quite something like a probably last season, like, where I really played it. Yeah, I mean, if I'm trying to clear high level myself, then I'll add Poison Creeper back in, just to... It probably gives me about a 50% increase in damage. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, but it is dangerous, because you turn human when you cast Poison Creeper, so you've got to oh, yeah, yeah. watch the location. Um, you can get one-shotted sometimes with uh, if you cast Poison Creeper, so... Mm -hmm. um, so what's your armor it right is, now? It like, is like right? roughly a fifty percent damage increase. Uh, and, and, and sorry, uh, what, what's your armor at? Like your value at uh, when you're in werewolf? Uh, it's a uh, thirteen point seven ish. Okay. I think. Yeah, that's pretty thirteen point eight. Yeah, TG. That's is nice. thirteen eight? Thirteen eight? Is thirteen eight the armor count? Uh, yeah. Uh, there's like two. They were not like 100% sure with the with okay. the formula, but it's between 13.7 and 13.8. So if you want to be on the safe side, 13.8 because like it's it's crucial if you're like missing just a little bit of armor, like you're yeah, like yeah, basically yeah. taking double damage. <laughs> so I'm like always yeah, exactly. going for I'm always trying to aim for like 13.8, uh, and then uh, but I I barely reach it as well. I need to use all these um, all these consumables, the instances and well elixir. I have resource one, but yeah, like these consumables that buff me a little bit. Have you been using those in, in your push, like the, um, okay, I, I'm using, uh, for example, these three to pre-buff? This also helps a lot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If, if, if I'm doing a hard push, I'll use Chorus. I'll, I'll actually take points out of my Paragon board for um, elemental resistances. Um, so then I'll be playing, <laughs> in fact, I'm looking at my thing right now. <laughs> I just realized, um, wow, I've got some... Currently, pretty low resistances. It's because I have the wrong wing in one of the things. Um, okay, but yeah, I'm using yeah. these uh, these uh, soothing uh, spices yeah. as well. They they help they help a lot. Like I, I don't even have max rest. Oh yeah, yeah. soothing so spices is great. Ready ready to go when you are. All right, yeah, let's go. We'll come back. Sure. Let's go. So as you were asking about the maps before, like the map that we just had. It was a pretty bad one. Like, it's very narrow. There's a lot of dead ends uh, you can run into. Like, in pushing, I try to... Like, if I'm really farming a hard tier, I, I try to avoid those. Here again, this is the... Uh, this is a very good one again. All right. All right. Yeah, the start here is always like very empty. <laughs> you have to search for the enemies. Okay. 
got some elites here. I think I'm gonna wait until you pull and then I'm gonna start. Are these, yeah, these lunatics, they're also super dangerous for me. Yeah. You gotta be uh, careful where we pull those. <laughs> try to like trigger them. I also have a lot of damage when the enemy is injured. I have like a separate multiplier, like another 25% damage basically when they are like below 35% uh, uh, threat hold. But it really helps me uh, to finish them off as well. It's also so cool to see just having them uh, stunned and uh, petrified, they can't even attack. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the channeling. For me, uh, the channeling pylon actually nerfs me, because I'm relying on spending uh, spending resources, like spending my fury, and I can't with a channeling pylon. So that's why I... Oh, nice. So I always try to skip those. This is so insane, like we're constantly fighting like 10 elites. <laughs> I sometimes like the conduit uh, to just create like a, a new a big pull of many enemies because yeah I just brag a bunch with you yep nice. I also get a very nice damage bonus when they are all uh, combined like this with my war cry Barbarian, master of the battle cry. Yes. That's from the Iliad. I leap into Through the fray like... and I shout. <laughs> yeah. They always mention for some reason in the Iliad, very often it's like, you know, Hector, master of the battle cry. Yep. <laughs> I guess that was a thing back in the day. Yep. Like, Did who you... could yell the best going into battle? was very important. Morale of the troops. Yeah, absolutely. Did you play uh, Diablo 2 by any chance? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Back in the day, I played Diablo 1 and 2. Let's go. So I'm a bit too young for Diablo 1, but I've played a lot of Diablo 2. And I also played Barbarian and I just like the, the shout noise, uh, the rock cry that he makes when he used mm -hmm. the battle orders is just so iconic to me. So good. I mean, this game loves Barbarian, it always has. Yes. <laughs> it's the best class in my heart. But on launch, it was it was really strong. I don't know if you if you have... Uh, did you play like when it launched already? Uh, the, with Diablo 4? Oh, yeah, Diablo 4. Uh, yeah. Um, and I think the... Yeah, I think it was... If I recall correctly... Uh, Barbarian was super strong, and then they nerfed it a little bit or something. Um, <laughs> they nerfed it so much in the start. Okay. So just like a, just, just quick story. So I, I played all the betas and stuff, and then uh, when the, when the game launched, I obviously had a, quite a big of uh, advantage with with the the knowledge I accumulated in in, in the betas. I, I made many videos, like educational videos, on, on YouTube about this, like sharing it. Um, but still, like I I knew a lot of stuff, and uh, I had uh, I I managed to get the first. Uh, level 100 um, when it came out so it, there was like a, this early access and I actually uh, got to level like max level before the game even released like uh, for, wow. for everybody <laughs> and yeah, so, no, I love it it's a great game and I hope they keep building on it it's uh, it's really the pretty much the only game I've been playing for the last three or four months yeah I mean same here basically I enjoy it <laughs> a lot 
Hey, not bad. Four minutes ish. Ah, really good, really good. Okay, I'm gonna activate my buffs. Yeah. This is always the most crucial. I need to focus here always for a sec to get the buffs up. They need to be vulnerable for me. I have some damage reduction there. Yeah, I really enjoy it. It's like very simple to get into Diablo 4, but also like uh, very detailed. Like if you want to like really min max your build. Mm -hmm. So I'm really happy that they introduced like a hard a content system like they did now with the Diablo 12 here, because it was like it was getting like for me because I, I spent a lot of hours like uh, yeah uh, creating getting content easy on the and playing the game. Yeah, it was getting like too yeah. trivial. GG, nice. It was getting like yeah, too yeah, trivial, yeah. Like, too too easy for That's me. Great. But um, yeah, now it, like this, I mean, this Avatar of Zero yeah. was like a real challenge, like a real challenge for everybody. Yeah, yeah. No, it was, I mean, you're much obviously much better than me at this game by a lot. Um, but it was getting too easy even for me. I mean, at the point at which you're speed running Nightmare 100 is trying to shave a few seconds off a speed run on NM, yeah. you know, NM100, yeah. then you're like, okay, we need something harder. Yeah, and I think it also came at a really good time because uh, season two. Like, a lot of people didn't like Season 1 as much, and I can understand why, but, like, Season 2 basically has been a huge W, a huge win for the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, I think they did great the... with I mean, yeah. Taking it season the... 2 was great, and I, I think, actually, AOZ is kind of inspired, frankly. It's a, it was a great idea. I, I definitely agree on, on, on the, like, for, for people that, uh, that really like this, like, endgame min-maxing, it's, it's a great system. But there's also yeah. obviously some problems or quite a few problems with it, like all this like snapshotting, the gear swaps. And I, I yeah, come yeah. from like playing a lot of Diablo 3 as well. This is where I started like creating content and, and streaming as well. Um, and we had a system in, in there is the Greater Rift system. It's somewhat similar to this Abba 12 Zero system. And I just feel like a lot of the experiences that uh, the developers or the, the Blizzard team had in, in Diablo 3 uh, they could like uh, rely a bit more on that. Like I, I like how they reinvented like sort of like the the wheel of uh, action RPGs with uh, with Diablo 4, but they I think they could have like take some more inspiration like from the from the previous game, like because like this exact problem of like the gear swaps, like switching skills mid mid run, switching the paragons yeah. and the items. This has all been a problem in in Diablo 3 before, and okay. you know, now it's it's back a bit. A lot of people don't like it, and I, I agree with them. I also think it's it's not the healthiest for the game to have all these these uh, item swapping and things in the game yeah you, you, you don't want to add chores to the game and the problem is like it, you know if you're gonna item swap constantly it's a bit of a chore and it's just not as fun frankly yeah exactly and it takes it away from a lot of people because they always think okay i can't compete if, if i'm not doing this and i don't like it it's, it's like similar with the the injured build you mentioned before like a lot of people don't like yeah. it but like yeah if you if you really want to like do the hardest content like you must sort of like use this to even have a chance yeah, and uh, right. exactly yeah you don't want to you don't want to in order to compete effectively force people to do annoying things <laughs> yeah like, exactly it's just yeah so to yeah. we, we do some try some tier 25s okay yeah we can i think it's it, it would be going like uh very nice like this and also like we're not lagging <laughs> that's that's the most yeah, important yeah, yeah. i mean i think there's still some uh, some chance that we that we lag um at the very start of the run uh, sometimes yeah. there's just a bad server but um well you got your you got your, your 120 ping let me see what mine is <laughs> mm -hmm. uh okay. yeah i think yours will be higher because we're on a europe server now yeah just uh, how do you turn on in-game ping? So, so my uh, it's a control, if I just uh, control R, uh, twice I think. Oh, control R. Yeah. Okay, control Once R. Once for FPS and then twice for latency. Oh whoa! Holy sh! Okay, this is insane. Because if I if I go into the com command prompt and do and ping Battle.net, I get a nice number, which is 50 milliseconds. But if I if I look oh. at the in-game thing, I'm getting 250. Yeah, I so think like, when it, you do it in the command prompt, it would probably like. Uh, Ping the the US server and like yeah, yeah. We're, we're on a Euro one so like I think they've got I think they've got one in Dallas or something somewhere close to me so it's I'm I'm in Austin so mm -hmm. <laughs> so pinging Battle.net is BS the in-game latency is like showing 200 milliseconds so yeah I mean and for it, fast reaction that's brutal you know yeah it definitely <laughs> is and so. uh, I mean if if you you figure you guys are gonna get it down to like you know like thirty ms or what do you say or like twenty even like on Starlink I mean that's like that's like perfect for for all gamers like even for like FPS shooter games or something I mean in Diablo yeah, exactly. it's yeah. not like 
okay if you have like 50 ms or 100 ms it's a bit of a difference but it doesn't really like you know makes uh, makes you not able to compete but in, in some of the like fps and like really reaction based games like, you yeah. just can't like if you have 200 ping like what are you gonna do <laughs> it is the dark. yeah i mean a long time ago i used to play competitive quake and at one point i was one of the best quake players um and we we competed in the first uh paid like I, we think i think it was they claimed to be the first paid esports tournament in the us um as a four-person team i was the second best person on the team and then we we, we, ended up, we actually were winning and then the guy who was the best guy on the team his he had overclocked his pc too much and it crashed halfway through so <laughs> we, we, we ended up coming second but they gave us you know the prize money and everything it was cool um so there was a time when you know i was not like grandpa age that uh i was good you know i was way up there um so now, now I'm like an, like, I guess an old tennis pro or something like that. You know? <laughs> no, I hear that a lot. Man. You, you, you're a true. I play tennis pretty well, but I'm not going to compete at the highest level. True, um, true. I don't have to, but like, like it's just like the mentality uh, as well here that, uh, like, basically a true gamer is what my my chat is saying as well. Oh cool. man, I'm a true gamer next level. I've written video games. I mean, um, so. Uh, you, you know, or at least been a part of writing video games, and, I've, and and I started writing kid video games as a kid, like when I was ten years old. So I think, man, you did I, you did like so much stuff. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Wait, what's the thing? So, so many side quests. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so many How do you have the time for all of this? It's like it's so insane, man. Like there's like some next level like time management and everything. Yeah, seriously. No, time. It. I think time is the only true currency. Um, you know, that's you know something that nobody can get more of. No matter how much money you have or resources or whatever, you could be the emperor of the, the world and still you only have so much. You have the same amount of time as everyone else. Yeah, I know. Like so, for for a lot of people, um, they also like spend a lot of their youth basically, um, like some of them at least, like overworking and like really like putting a like a toll on their body. And then, yeah. like, at some point, when they when they get older, they they wish or they like try to like you know get it back in, in in some way. And then you have to maybe spend a lot of that money that you made in order to get healthy again. Like if you're really taking it to the extreme for like long periods of Daddy time. Daddy Elon. I mean, I took it to the extreme extreme for long periods of time. Um, I mean, that, that, that time when we, um, me and my four buddy, my three but three buddies came second in the Quake Esports tournament. I think that must have been like 97 or something. Um, and, um, but I was doing my st startup and so I was, I was like living at the office, but then but the way to unwind at, you know, after working like 12, 16 hour days was mm -hmm. just to play like a few hours a quake. Um, I, I mean, that's what I like doing. That's my re <laughs> fun, like playing Diablo is, is relaxing for me basically. Yeah, even if I'm dying. Yeah, um, I saw an interview you did about that with like, uh... Uh, on, on on YouTube, I think I saw it. It was uh, it was uh, inspiring, and for me, it's also very similar. I mean, it started very similar. Like now, it's like kind of my my job as well in in, in some way. But I still like enjoy it. Like it's like a, it's like my, my passion, my, my my core, my hobby made into a profession. And uh, I don't feel like I'm working essentially, but I, I can still like, earn earn a living and earn, and earn money from it. So it, it's just like super cool. Yeah, that's a great that's a great situation. I mean, if you can, I think in general, if you can find work that you love and it. It, it really, a lot of it comes down to the work environment. Do you enjoy the people that you're working with? Uh, do you look forward to coming to work in the morning? Um, exactly. You know, and getting useful. I like I enjoy getting useful things done and and making useful products and services for other people. And so I find like work intrinsically enjoying enjoyable. And most of the time, not always, because sometimes there's like lawsuits and drama and whatever. But um, but most of the time, I enjoy working as well. Um, and. Uh, I, I I mean my natural personality is just hardcore mode all, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> go hard or go home. Well, I mean I, yeah, it yeah. really shows here in the video game as well. I mean you are basically like the top five druid right now. It's, uh, it's not bad given everything else on my plate, you know. Yeah, it's so I'm doing work too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had yeah, some, a lot of work actually. I had some pretty like I uh, like when we played like two days ago. I hope it was okay. I uploaded like a like a YouTube video because we were like live on yeah, screen. Yeah, no problem. And. Um, 
people really, really liked it, like, uh, just in general. And uh, there were some pretty funny comments, like, you know, saying, like, uh, I'm working, like, a 9 to 5 job, and uh, my uh, I beat, like, a tier, like, 19 or something, and uh, <laughs> here's Elon, like, having a higher glyph and beating higher tiers than me as well. <laughs> Super crazy. Yeah, I mean, I do have, like, literally a lifetime of training on video games, and um, so... But, uh, you know, I guess a lot. some people will go and hang out on the beach or something. And that's not, that's fine, I, you know, once in a while, sure. But mm -hmm. I, I like playing video. I, I would prefer, most of the time, prefer playing video games than hanging out on the beach. Oh, yeah. Um, the same for me. I mean, like, I just like to spend, like, so time on, on the internet as well. Like, I would never... I mean, I, I liked playing solo games back in the days, like when it was like offline, it was just me and my cousin or, or, or my sister, yeah. like just, just playing like on, on the same PC because we only had like one PC in the family. Um, <laughs> it, it was always like about the social thing for me. Like I don't like, uh, I don't like enjoy it quite as much like playing a game like all by myself. I really like to be like engaged. Like, yeah, yeah. Now, now talking to you or talking with friends online, like in, in the voice chat or even talking with the with the stream and, and stuff like that really, like the social aspect. And you never know like who you meet or like where you go from here. It's like, uh, and those opportunities as well, like meeting new people, meeting new cultures. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um... I've actually met a lot of people from China <laughs> um, playing uh, Diablo. Uh, I was mentioning like the Chinese guys that I played with are super hardcore. I mean, they're very impressive. I, I mean, I think it sort of gives you a sense, man. China is so hardcore and competitive. Um, I think... Uh, and not only in gaming. Not only in gaming. Yeah, yep. Absolutely, across the board. But in gaming, they are like next level insane. Like this, this guy that, that, that did the first 25, he, he leveled this glitch like seven days to 200 from when it came out. Wow. I mean, I'm not 100% sure if he did it all by himself. Like, I think he was like basically like playing with multiple yeah, no, you, people you, and you stuff. Have to, you have a team basically. Yeah, you have a team, like, like you have a community and stuff. And like they, they really like, they take it like super serious. Like this guy was doing nothing else super for like serious. a week straight than, than doing this. But he had a yep. goal, he had the determination and he did it. And he was like yep. trying really hard. He was super happy, and the community loved it as well. Like they, like they, they all congratulated him. Like it, it's just like super fun, like seeing this this come together. And, and like the same here, like then in, in in the West, like people were really hyped that like people in China did it, and it was like a, a team effort basically. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, let's give it a shot. Right, Twenty-five. Yeah, yeah. Let's give it a shot. Let's go. <laughs> You always need to focus in the start to switch the right items. Don't do it in the wrong order. Yeah, exactly. All right, popping in. Okay, map is good. Need to drink my elixir. All right. All right. <laughs> Lots of incense going. Yep. <laughs> So much incense. Yeah, always the triple. I mean, 25 is hard, still. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna get easy. No matter how high your Tears of Blood is. I mean, it's gotta be... I mean, I was hoping that, you know, say, to cliff level 200, it's gotta be, like, not a massive struggle, you know? <laughs> yeah. It, it is still quite a struggle, though. But it is better, for sure. It's still a struggle. It's like, oh, like, man. Like, they just get... I mean, okay, on Shred you get, like, crazy scaling, but I think still the Bloodseekers will be a struggle. Okay, I think now we need to move offensively to be able... These, these Vampires are not the best, but we just keep moving okay. forward, basically, like we did, I think, in the Foreman. Because, <laughs> yeah, the ball <laughs> I'll bring them with us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just bring them with us. I, I, these guys are very nice as well. They are, they are good dogs. They follow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Get along, a little doggy. No, not quite follow a dog. It, it's your... Uh, some of them are your brothers here, like, they're all werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, wait. Am I killing my own kind? What's going yeah. on? Okay, I get this damage reduction. Okay, I have good rotation now. Okay, he's dead. You always need to uh, focus the, the purple, the damage resistance aura first. Okay, we'll see what we got. Okay, here, good map. Let's go. Alright. Okay. This is gonna be nice. 
We just uh, uh, keep staying aggressive, basically. We can make a very big pull here. Mobby scouting a bit. Need to skip this just to kill the trash. We're on time. Let's just go. Yeah. Maybe maybe they'll follow us. Sometimes they actually do. Like this fire guy is pretty fast. Oh nice. Okay, down left. We need to go. Oh, come on. Trash. This is we can make a very good pull here in the middle. Bring them all together. Try to focus these guys. Okay. Oh, there's one more. Okay. Oh, there's one more even. Okay, now I can start. And there was a lot of damage reduction, so it took a bit, but now it's good. Okay, and um, we can always uh, keep moving aggressively down left. Yeah. Another one. <laughs> they just fly in. <laughs> it's very hard to, to recognize where they are sometimes, uh, the, the damage resistance. I think I found it. Yeah, big crowds like this are perfect for mm -hmm. Stormclaw and Shred. It's awesome. But yeah, I see the damage like going really crazy. It's very nice. Maybe it might even be beneficial for me to hold off at the start. Because uh, basically the trash is free damage on the elites as well for you, right? Like Yeah, the more trash well. the better, it's great. Because that's what I'm also <laughs> doing with the ball lightning. So I'm not even attacking at the very start. Like if there's like all the small monsters, I'm just letting uh, them all explode basically. Because if I kill them or one like last hit them, it's basically taking away damage from you and also from the ball sock. All right, look at the progress here. Like that's exactly yeah, that's what we great. need to do. Wow. Like just uh, very aggressive pulling, and they all follow. You you can keep going. I'm gonna finish this pack off because it's very okay. hard to make right, so Just just create a big pull, and okay. uh, we will blast it. Yeah, like I think I mentioned, like the I'm I'm I can clear the mobs super fast. Uh, I, I actually got it down to for 24. I think I cleared the mobs in four minutes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, really it's just it's uh, boss damage and survivability. Yep. Um, so some cliff leveling. I keep keep going. And then and then maybe switching out a Stormclaw for the boss battle because Stormclaw is great when you've got a group, but if you don't, if, if you don't, if, like only having three is not enough for the mm -hmm. really Stormclaw to kick ass. Okay, so maybe yeah. switch to. Damage where you know, uh, four and fortified or something like that. Come, come a bit more ahead, like there's a lot of monsters here. We can yeah. connect. I, I made a pull, and you have a pull there. This is connected in the middle. Yeah. Nice. Now they're all flying in. I can also buff you with 30% multiplicative damage with oh, wow. Warcrys. Okay. <laughs> it's fun playing with Bobs. <laughs> yeah. Really good. Yeah. I also really like that we don't have legs. I played with like a sorcerer like all day yesterday and <laughs> it's like yeah. I can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> no, I, it, it seems like basically luck. It's just if mash you, keys and hope the key mashes go through. Exactly. If, if you want, you can go ahead. I'll finish these. I have a good damage. Yeah. And you just create the next pull. I think that's the best time ratio. Good. Because I can, like, if the lead is low, I can, like, do a lot of damage to it. And um, you do a lot of damage when there's a lot of trash. And it's a perfect combination, I think. Yeah, here. The great. Like, this is this is insane. Yeah. My, now, my weakest situation is, oddly enough, <laughs> when there's just one enemy. Yeah. And uh, and their health is, is medium. I actually, uh, with my gloves, I added 51% uh, damage when injured, which helps a lot. Um, but it's actually when they're roughly medium health. And uh, 
I, I can sit there for what, what against one boss for ages, and you've yeah. probably seen like yeah, I've seen this Ace on Aces, yeah, yeah, on Aces. Like, clear, like, he killed two of them. That <laughs> then what is the life? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, it seems ridiculous that you'd be better at killing an entire group than yeah. just one guy who's half dead. <laughs> you, you can go again. The one guy with half dead things. is 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 runs out the timer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now carefully. I need my damage buffs as well. Ooh. I gotta maintain werewolf form here. Okay, I almost died. <laughs> it was so close. Okay, there is a sword, so this is gonna be a bit problematic. Whoa. Mega damage. Yeah, yeah. It's very bad. It's bad boss. We have a chance. It's just gonna be uh, tough. Well, yeah. Surviving. I mean, if we can keep, if we can keep them together, we will make it. Yeah. I mean, we will make it if we survive, basically. But we have a lot of time. Yeah. Now I'm chewing up my my healing potions a little bit here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, same for me. I'm gonna go very risky. I'm, I'm out of potions <laughs> basically soon. Oh, spare potion dropped. Yeah, we might still have some from previous. This is like what's cool with the Sork as well. Like you can quite reliably keep them together. Not always, but pretty reliably. I think we have a really bad spawn as well. Like it, it would be a lot better if they're melee. No, but we're doing good damage. Like this is very nice. I can hit all three of them. My, my my hammer, my Hoda has a pretty decent AOE. Yeah, the pull seems to be doing keeping them together reasonably yeah, yeah. well. Yeah, like this is a little bit. Is like yeah, it's insane. That's like way better than anything I can do solo or I hope to do solo. Well, I'm glad I'm not letting you down here, uh, <laughs> or at least not yet. Yeah, I'm also words. trying to not let you down. <laughs> it's good. To <laughs> but I'm always like, if someone dies, that, that, that just is how, what it is. It's, it's all good. It's like, it's I fast paced guys. enough with this 10 minute. Like, it's. Yeah, exactly. I, I feel it's fully fine. Like, if it was like 20 minutes or something, or like a lot longer, then I think people would get really uh, frustrated at some point. But like, with the fast pace, like 10 minutes, it's not a long period of time. And then there's a weird thing that actually, when it drops to, t to 2, I lose a big damage multiplier. <laughs> yeah, let's let's try to stay uh -huh. on the healthy guy always, uh, the sorcerer. Yeah, if you can pull it here, because the other guy, we just need to be careful when he uh, dies, because he will explode. Okay. We'll uh, do like a massive explosion. Okay, now let's go to the right. Yeah. Oh no! What? He just turned invisible. Oh man! What's that there? Okay, he's exploding. Oh wow! <laughs> 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 yeah, that was the fire. Oh. That was the oh. fire. Oh, well, that was good. I so actually cool. saw, I saw it, but I could not move out of the... I didn't have a dash, and my speed is too slow. Yeah, I also called it wrong. Uh, it was actually not exploding when I said it. It was, like, slightly delayed for some reason. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, basically was... how we clear it. Like, uh, that's uh, how it goes. That was pretty fun. Hey, Shintu, thank you so much. Oh, there was somebody gifting 100 subs. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate the support, guys. I just always love the positive vibes and the uh, like direct feedback you can give uh, while uh, live streaming. Yeah, that's true. So I'm really stoked and excited for uh, for this uh, feature on on X because I was like saying the other day, like Twitch is not really doing that much to like make the content creators like very discoverable. Yeah. Uh, so there's definitely some 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 things to improve there and. Uh, yeah, like other platforms like TikTok are doing a better job with like uh, your videos have a way higher chance of like going viral and this stuff. Um, but obviously they don't have this like live interaction that you that you can get with a live stream. Yeah. Uh, well, the X platform, I think I said, I think it's actually it might end up it has it has the potential to be the best for streaming because it's where people go for things that are happening right now, and streaming mm -hmm. is a right now thing, you know. So. Um, you know, at, in the moment, uh, that's the, and there's 550 million, like maybe 600 million at this point, people using it. So it's like a, almost a tenth of Earth. Yeah, it's just crazy numbers to think about. Like, 
lots and lots of uh, potential for for users and creators. Yeah, and you can get people from like many countries as well. Like so, they're just you know, mm -hmm. uh, like X is actually the top social media, uh, so, so the top uh, search engine and and top social media by far in Japan. Yeah, that's crazy. Example, that, that's definitely missing a lot on like Twitch and also like uh, YouTube and yeah. stuff like all the like also China and um, there's just like they're, they're not. Yeah, they don't. There. Yeah, I mean China's not super excited about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> but I think yeah, maybe I for some it. content, like I mean, you know, for streaming games, I mean, it's not like political or whatever, you know. So. Yeah. True. Fine, hopefully. Yeah, it depends. Like, yeah, gaming for sure. I mean, there's definitely like a lot of political content there. On, 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 yeah, I on think X it's sort well, of like maybe like, we uh, can do something where it's sort of like non-political stuff is okay in China or something. Because mm -hmm. so I think there's also like you sick. know promoting uh, interactions between different countries is good for international relations. And oh, hundred percent. Yeah. Okay, I think we can get these two. Oh, there's a fireball. This one. I mean, I have to, friends in China are, are like have been very helpful for you know leveling my glyph and stuff. So it's been great. Yeah, um, they're, they're like super open to to everything uh, here in the in, in in the West as well. I feel like a lot of the player base like uh, here in the game just like you know I, I notice a lot of like toxicity around like other communities. Like you know if if it's like a game is like PvP focused, like League of Legends, Dota, or Counter Strike or something. Yeah. Um, the, the communities tend to get very very toxic. But in, in this like ARPGs yeah. where you kind of like play together against like the the evil against the bad yeah. uh, monsters and sure. stuff, it's like way more like of a camaraderie. Like everybody is like super positive, supportive of each other. There's there's not many. I mean there is obviously always some uh, some people that are toxic, but like it's it's very rare. And in general, like yeah. the community is super supportive, and uh, I like that a lot. It's uh, <laughs> it's day and night difference if I compare it to some some other gaming communities <laughs> in some other games. Yeah. Okay, let's try to go a bit ahead. So th this map is pretty good, but it's 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 not as good as the previous one because like here we have just like narrow slots, like it just doesn't happen in the cathedral. Oh. Okay, down is a dead end, so we need to go top left after this. Oh, I'm lagging a bit. Okay. Mm, yeah, same. But yeah, really cool to to hear about what the what the future might look like on on X. Yeah. Well, since I love games, so I do want to make it excellent for games, you know. Yeah. So, I don't know if like. Well, see, the other CEOs are not that much into games, you know, but I'm really into games. Man, that's super cool. I, I feel like we have uh, you or the gamers have you in their corner, and that's already like a, yeah. a huge win for, I mean, for all of gaming. I, I think. mean, I'm for sure in the gamers' corner. And I, like Do you hear that, chat? That's amazing. Might be man. the only. I think I'm the only CEO of like a social media company or whatever you want to call these things. Yeah. That is uh, into games, so you know. I do it for love of the game, and uh, that matters, I think, you know? Yeah, I mean, and the passion really shows. You know, like, you can't... Like, like <laughs> yeah. you just talking about, like, like I don't know, like, some complicated, like, Diablo, like, mechanic, you know? Like, that's just crazy. Yeah. That's just crazy to people, you know? Like, how does this guy know all this? <laughs> you know, like, yeah, he really, yeah. really invests a lot of time and thought into this. No, I love video games, man. That's uh, just Let's I really do, so... I, just I think love it's like video it's also games. like you know if, if you if you don't love a product, I don't know. It seems to me very difficult to make a great product if you don't love it. You know, like because you don't feel it in your heart. Tmi. Twitch. Tv. U. R. N. O. T. I mean, -E hash Rob I love the other stuff that I do. You know, the cars and the rockets, the uh, AI stuff, and um, I like technology in general. So it's you know, it's it's. It, yeah. You know, and then Tesla, it's like, you know, we just try to make cars that, that we, we love and not necessarily what, like, we hope other people will love it too, but, but we're not trying to, we're not running, like, market surveys. If you look at something like the Cybertruck, mm -hmm. we didn't, like, run a market survey or ask That's people correct. if they like it because, I mean, it's too strange, you know, so. Um, and obviously, we could have done something very derivative, but... We didn't want to. Just we wanted to do something that we we really felt 
that we loved, you know. And then, but I think it's generally true. If you make something that that you love, because you know what you love, but it's hard to say what other people love, mm -hmm. um, then you're gonna make a good product if that's how if that's what you do. Make a product you love. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, you just also like. In, in, in many aspects here, like with the gaming and stuff, it just makes it like so relatable as well. Like you, you see, like you re you really know your, your your way around. You have a, like a history with gaming, and like, you're actively gaming as well. Like to this day, yeah. and it's just like <laughs> no, I mean, I'm it's just like, like a lot of people don't like I know said, this. I mean, you know? I, at one point, I, I I was, you know, not the best Quake player, but I was one of the best. You know, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. And it's like a crazy yeah. journey overall. Okay, let's keep going a bit. Alright. I, I wasn't 100% focused. Game, I, I wasn't 100%, I wasn't 100 focused on the run, I must admit. <laughs> I was more <laughs> <laughs> listening to what you were saying. It was so interesting. It's also not the best so, map. Yeah. Uh... Oh, I guess we need... We're running a bit out short on time on that. Yeah. We're gonna be uh, a bit short on time here. Rob, love your work. Thank you for all your effort and content you push out. It's amazing you've hooked up with Elon. I follow your contact daily. You, they kept me in D4. Thank Thanks. you, man. Yeah, my, my chat is pretty hyped about all the things uh, you said and uh, just in general that, that you're here and uh, just like, you know, having a casual conversation in, in a video game about video games and life. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like a lot of them. Like they just can't believe it. You know, they, they think they're thinking you're fake. It's not you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you look at my track record. I mean, it's like I, you know, I post about video games a lot, and I, you know, it's uh, yeah, not making it up. <laughs> Hell yeah, it's the real thing, guys. <laughs> not an AI. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep going a bit. We can at least uh, see. Oh, okay. This is very good shrine. We have some more elites. Wait, they're running away. I'm getting it. Hey, X, I'll be with you in two seconds. I'm just mm -hmm. playing this video game. <laughs> just playing some video games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you want, we can still spawn the blood seekers, and you can see your like if your new setup with the boots work. I don't think we're yeah. going to be killed them in time, but uh, make like one final good pull. Yeah, so like this is this is a good map, but you, you see it's like not really on the level of the of that cathedral where it's like super yeah. open. It also like this mob type is also not that great, but this is still a map I would always play in a, in a solo push uh, scenario. But it also I think depends a bit on your build. Like some builds, like yours, like and mine, like they scale with, uh, with good with density. But some other builds they might not. And then maybe some other maps are also good for them. But in general, I want to leave some some feedback. And because uh, right now this Abba 12 Zero system seems to be um, like more limited. Okay, oh, focus now. Good one. Not much time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. It's not going to be uh, possible to kill them in time. Uh, I can pull them together, but yeah, yeah I agree, not possible. Oh, ah, yeah. also. I also almost died to look at my HP. <laughs> yeah, this is also that depends a lot on, uh, on the RNG spawn. Well, that was a lot of fun, man. Thanks for the insights. Thanks for playing. And uh, yeah, we can, I don't know if, 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 it, if it works, Starlink. When you're on the plane, let me know. I'll still be here for a few hours for sure. Sounds good. Um, yeah, and um, like I feel like my ball's pretty good, um, but just the uh, more just need <laughs> more TOB. <TLB. laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, more grinding is is always the answer for sure. But um, also, like when we're 100% focused on the run and we have a really, really good um, map. We, we can probably make like a six minute time already. Like, like the progress, like we had triple progress in the 25 after the, the first big pull that we made. So it's, I think there's tremendous potential with this, uh, this combination. Really enjoyable and also not laggy <laughs> in comparison to the Swag one. Sounds good. So I, it's I, mean, I can also take, if, I, if I take up one of my defenses, I can throw a Poison Creeper back on. That'll, mm -hmm. I think 
a 50% increase to damage, so a bit more risk. Um, Alright. So, uh, fun, yeah. cool, fun playing as always. Uh, look forward to playing game. Was great, Dylan. I'm gonna, like, order that Starlink. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. Um, yeah, I'm always looking for critical feedback. Back to. I want. I want to definitely want to make Starlink awesome for game. So that's the goal. So back in that regard is. Much nice going, man. That's that's so that's so cool to hear, man. I mean, we're gamers. Like we're definitely looking uh, looking forward to what's to come in the near future with all of these uh, systems. Super hyped now, man. Yeah. All right. See you later. See you, man. Have a good flight. GG. Oh, poor guys. I couldn't like respond to all the support. But thank you so much, guys, for all the support. Yeah, that was the real Elon Musk. No AI. He's taking a flight now. We had some really cool attempts, actually. GG. <laughs> I think that's good. GG, Elon. <laughs> hey, guys, again. X boys. If you want to support, guys, follow here. Yeah, he's also following me. Let's go. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, so come and say hi.